Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I'm over in London, which is why I don't have my normal cool background. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about a new feature in Google Sheets called Tables. It's a really interesting update uh, that Google have come out with recently, and it was announced at Google Next, and it helps you manage and organize your data. So let's get into it. So we all have repetitive tasks within our work, uh, our daily work. We've all been there where we've maybe got an export from a system or from a, you know, maybe sales or finance, and we get the same sort of reports that we've got to sort of format in the same way every week. I know I do. And Google are trying to help customers with those repetitive tasks. When you've got unorganized data that you, you um, need, to, need to manage, sometimes it's just to make it look nice, but also to, to help organize it as well. And then also the other thing that the tables does is if you're looking for that kind of template, so you've got that blank page and you're like, I want to organize an event or you know, I'm trying to uh, get a sheet together for my sales team, then basically uh, Google uh, tables will allow you to very easily view um, a set of, of templates and implement them. So, I want to demonstrate this to you guys now. There is a Google blog post on this and you can take a look at it. It's a feature that's actually already launched so you, you can um, get using this yourself uh, straight away. So I have a blank template here and this is the first way that you can use this. I go up to insert and I select tables. And on the right hand side, it pulls out this extra menu now that I didn't used to have. Uh, and I can select some of these uh, template tables. So the first one is event tasks and we can see that this is a fully functioning table with tasks and drop downs and owners and stages and I can drop that in if I want and then edit it. We've got project tasks and again it shows me the template before I've actually clicked on it. A content tracker, very useful for someone like ourselves who's tracking content. Product prioritization, trying to prioritize which products. Recruitment application, again another um, useful one. And then they've got some drop downs and other ones like events, uh, customer relations, project management. Now, I'm going to go into the travel planner one actually because I'm going on my summer holidays in a few weeks so maybe I can use this. Uh, I like this uh, trip itinerary. I don't care about the budget one. I'm more interested in the itinerary. I can then click insert and it will automatically insert that table now um, for me. <clears throat> and it's giving me a couple of hints and tips because this is a, a new feature and it's saying I can change the columns, I can customize my views, etc. You can close out of that. So if you want, you can go in here and create like a view or, or a filter of, of different views, depending on what you're doing. So you might have a view, maybe for your sales team, you wanna filter it for yourself. Um, but you can also change the type of uh, thing that the column is. So this one at the moment is a smart chip for places, but I could change it to a dropdown or a date or numbers or texts. And so you can see how this would be really valuable to just get the ball rolling. Uh, which is often that blank page piece that we always have um, and, and really helping you get started quickly. The second way that you can use it um, is when you've got unorganized or unformatted data. I think probably, I think they're both useful, but this might be more useful to people. So I've got my little um, food sales data here that I've exported from uh, a system and uh, it's got the, the region and the date and it's got the category and the product and the quantity and some of the unit quantity and prices as well. So what I can do is I can select this data and instead of, of clicking insert, I'm going to click format in, in this instance. Uh, and, and there's now a convert to table button, which again, didn't used to be here before. I'm gonna click on the convert to table. It's fairly similar to what we saw before where it's taking me through the, the different structures. I can change the column type, I can create my own custom view, and I can personalize my, my table, such as my color and palette. So I didn't actually demonstrate this here, but I can customize the table. Maybe I want it blue or purple or match my company colors. Um, I can you know, turn off alternative colors or turn them back on. I quite like the alternative colors actually. It makes it easier to kind of read. That's when it alternates between like gray and white. Um, and then I can do interesting things here. So in this one here, it hasn't, it hasn't created as many sort of customizable things like drop downs and stuff for me uh, or like the place links. But that doesn't mean that I can't add that. So this one here on the cities, for example, uh, I could you know, continue this sheet on and continue to type in the, the various cities, but actually 
this would probably be better as a drop down, wouldn't it? So I can just convert that into a drop down, and now it's got my list of cities Boston, Los Angeles, New York, and San Diego. I'm going to add in London and Dublin, and I could also color code them from here so we could give them various colors. I think probably the the uh, the iris should be maybe green. Uh, we can make the London uh, blue. So yeah, so I can I can select any of these that I want. Uh, give them some uh, color coding, make my my thing look even more interesting. Uh, and now it's color coded them and it's dropped them into the drop down. So now in the drop down, I have all of those different options and I can you know change them around if I want. And you can continue to move your way through that as well. Maybe the products, for example, might also be useful as a drop down or a smart chip, depending on what you're what what you want to do. Um, and again, you can customize them as you move along. The quantities might be useful as some sort of smart chip. So um, you might want to add another column and add like a tick box next to it. So I think this is a really interesting feature. Um, it, as I said, it kind of reminds me a little bit of some of the Explore features in Google Sheets. I'm really excited to see this launched as well, and it's available for all users of Google Workspace. So uh, if you haven't checked this out, check it out. Um, create some uh, tables. Let us know how you get on. Um, and um, you know, if you have any questions, do let us know in the comments below. If you're not subscribed to Dams and Clouds uh, weekly updates and, and YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button or follow us if you're on LinkedIn or Twitter or, or wherever you might be watching this. Um, and as I said, please do engage in those comments. We love to get um, feedback and comments on the various videos that we put out. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you next week.